Today we are going to go over an awesome variation of a neck spin sequence that I discovered a few years ago. I have recently seen many robed artists perform this sequence, so I am not really sure where it originated from. I accidentally discovered it while trying to learn a different move, which proves how useful it is to make mistakes while practicing. Some of my favorite moves have originated from mistakes. I have broken down this sequence into many steps, and I highly suggest drilling each one thoroughly before moving on to the next one, because this sequence can get confusing and sloppy very easily. Let us begin. Here is the full sequence. Now we will separate it into four steps. During the first part, we perform a stationary neck spin, however we will be executing it on our anchor side. Let's first warm up with a few stationary neck spins on our lead side. Now let's gather some slack and bunch it up into our anchor hand so that the rest of the rope measures the length of our leg. We will start spinning the dart towards our lead side instead. Okay, now let's attempt that anchor side stationary neck spin. It is important that we don't angle our body to one side, but instead keep our torso and head centered while we bend down and up. Okay, once this feels comfortable, we can move on to the next step. This step is also a move in and of itself. Some of my friends and I call it the wave hello. To execute this, we will once again spin the dart towards our lead side. Let's first get used to allowing the rope to land on our arm, right below our shoulder. The rope should not wrap around, but instead rest on the top of our extended arm. Okay. Now we are going to trace a big circle in the air with our extended arm that goes the same direction as our lead side spin. The rope should still remain in contact with our upper arm. Once the dart gets to our lead side, we push the rope so that it rotates behind us instead of in front. Let's try and repeat this a few times. Okay, sweet. That is a new little move that is fun and useful. We can also execute a wave hello by contacting our rope higher up on our shoulder. I find this point of contact to be more graceful, but it is probably better to first learn it in the way that I just explained, since more skin will stay in contact with the rope. Okay, before we move on, let's try alternating between our anchor side neck spin and the wave hello. We start to notice how similar these two moves are. They trace the exact same trajectory. If moving between these motions doesn't feel comfortable yet, I highly suggest repeating this drill before moving on. Alright, now for step 3. We are basically going to do step 1 and 2 at the same time. We start our anchor side stationary neck spin, and when the dart comes towards our lead arm, we stick it out, wave hello, and push the dart behind us. Once this feels really solid, we add in another detail. As soon as the rope is under our lead armpit and the dart is traveling upwards, we take our anchor hand and trace the outline of our head so that once our wave hello is complete, the rope will be contacting our lead shoulder. This is the part that I have seen people most confused about by far, so let's watch this again a few times. Sweet! Let's troubleshoot anything that feels strange throughout these motions and then turn to step 4. During step 4, the dart is spinning towards our lead side, but the rotation is behind us. 
In order to isolate this step, let's start from the position that we were just in, with our hand close to the lead side of our shoulder. Okay, we are going to bend our head backwards and let the rope wrap around our neck and travel behind us. As soon as we feel the rope all the way around our neck, we start to bend our head down so that the rope is forced to start rotating in front of us again and unwraps from our neck. Once it has fully unraveled, we should be back in the position that we first started in, spinning with our anchor hand towards our lead side. Okay, yay! Those were all the steps. Each is a complex move in and of itself, so please drill each one on its own first, since the sequence is probably one of the most likely to cause us to hit ourselves in the face. Finally, we are going to put everything together. Let's watch the whole sequence in slow motion. We start with our anchor side stationary neck spin. We allow the rope to travel under our lead armpit and wave hello. As we are waving with our lead hand, we trace the outline of our head with our anchor hand so that it lands near our lead shoulder. We bend our neck way back and let the rope wrap around us. Before the rope is able to wrap a second time, we bend forward, forcing it to unravel off of us. It will now rotate in front of us, spinning towards our lead side. Yay, okay, that is the full sequence. I think that the reason that people get confused when learning this one is because so many of the steps are similar to other moves that we have learned, as well as being similar to each other. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you like this sequence tutorial, I have more available on my Patreon page. I will leave the link in the description. I also have an entire chapter dedicated to using this anchor side grip style in my complete online course, so I will add that link in as well. Good luck! Love you guys!